Right, hi, I'm TXAA, or Geekbit, as you see on YouTube, and I'm just going to quickly create a tutorial on how to do a saw wave in Linux on DJ. So basically, you want to be on the wave channel, which is this channel here, which I'm scrolling up and down. I just press A to create a new chain. Inside that chain, just press A again to create a new phrase. Then inside the phrase, just press A on the instrument piece here create a new instrument or press A in here create a new instrument and that's C3 on that and uh, I want you to change the type to uh, from pulse to wave and once you're on here select uh, scroll down to play and go all the way to manual and what you want to do is go up a screen by holding select and up and then across left which is select and left so you see this. Now this is almost a saw wave already, but if you want a really meaty saw wave, what you want to do is set it so that each increment of the saw is two dots. So what all you do is just um, go to a dot, highlight it so it's flashing, and then move it. So two dots is each in uh, increment. If you look in the um, video description, there will be a little sound DJ song file with this instrument preloaded in it. So now, when you go back to uh, your C3, it's just a simple saw wave. So you can create a saw bass just like And that's just really, really quite simple. Um, if you mess it up a little bit, like um, if I do it, oh, where's the cursor gone? There it has. So if we mess this up, so we push these two up here. And then push these two down here. Change the sound. And because you've set the set into manual, it will only loop whatever you draw in here on wave zero zero or wave the first frame of the wave. Oops. Hold on. That's a, nice, that's a nice crunchy bass. Well, I mean, it's not that nice, but obviously you can play around with it. Yeah, so you can uh, like that would be kind of like a square wave kind of thing. And in my song uh, Cell Wave, I used a kind of messed up saw wave in that. So if I show you what I used, I used that. And that's quite uh, crunchy ish. So if I play the whole uh, chain there.
Yeah, so um, you can make pretty funky bass lines with it. Obviously you can do different things, and if you want like a really clean kind of square sound, you would just make um, a square wave, so you'd move, well if you want like a fat square, which is deeper than the normal pulse channel, what you do is um, just create a square shape. I mean, on the Game Boy screen here, it's only really two lines, but that is what square shape pretty much is. Basically, the first lot is either zero 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 or f f f f f f f at the top and bottom. So that's the actual wave channel playing there. some pretty funky stuff in there. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you to Panda Attack for bugging me to do this video. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on at the moment, so probably no more videos for a bit. So yeah, thanks for watching. If that helped in any way, just say thanks in the comments.